No, religion's a real growth industry in Scotland. It's... The BBC religious department's got 14 offices. What do they do all day? You can't hear the typewriters for the rattling of the rosaries up there. But it's, it's very odd. And they've got this never-ending procession of wee men who come on at night and tell you how dreadful the world is. <laughs> and then in the most patronizing possible way, try to introduce you to God. <laughs> now, if there's a God, and I suppose there, there is, really, because I've always, I've always thought, if you believe in God, if anybody believes in God, there is one, you know. And, and there's, there, it doesn't, it's not up for question. But these wee men, come on, and try and tell you. And the ones on, on the England and the, the Radio 4 in the morning aren't any better. <laughs> they seem to have this never-ending line of people called Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you all about God in this strange fashion. Yes, I went to a football match the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know is the key, right? You know. <laughs> I went to a football match the other day and it was terribly exciting. I, I watched with bated breath. It was Tottenham Hotspur, I believe, though, playing another bunch of chaps. They were very, very good anyway, but... The game was rather exciting, and on the way home, I, I said to my son, Nigel Jr., I said... <laughs> Nigel, I said, yes, Daddy. I said, did you enjoy the game, Nigel? Oh, yes, Father, it was super and terribly exciting. <laughs> Is that all, Nigel? Well, yes, Daddy. Well, Nigel, didn't you attempt to think of it... On a more spiritual plane. <laughs> Did Jesus play for Tottenham Hotspur? <laughs> and, you know, in a funny way, he did. <laughs>